Hey all, I'm Trishana Quincy. I'm the coordinator instructor of the Sewing Training Academy, and today I am going to add a drawstring to this pair of pants. So these pants are gonna have an elasticized waist, but I also want them to have a drawstring. There are a couple ways I could do that. I could add a couple of grommets to the front that the drawstring could come through, but I'm gonna do it with a couple of buttonholes in the front. So let's get started. I've already set my machine to 104 buttonhole stitch on the Quantum Stylist, and I've already put my buttonhole foot on the machine. I've also done a couple of test buttonholes. Uh, the first one was a little bit too big and the second one was just right to put my twill tape through. So I, I feel good about that. I'm gonna put my needle down exactly at the bottom of my marking and then the foot down. And I also have this thread above here. This is my top thread. I'm holding it because I don't want it to get stuck in the buttonhole. It makes it look kind of ugly. And I'm gonna go ahead and start. So you'll notice that I have the bulk of my pants at the back of the machine. And that is so that the weight isn't hanging down in front of the table. It actually puts a little less stress on the machine. And that's how I like to do it. And the machine basically does all the work once you have it lined up. I am barely doing anything. And we're done. My two buttonholes are in. Now I need to open them up and I do that with a ripper. And when you do that, there is a chance, like I've had it where you actually rip past the buttonhole. So what I always do is whatever direction I'm ripping open, I put a pin at the very end so that it saves me from ripping past the point I want to. So I'm just gonna carefully put my ripper in the middle, make sure I don't get any of the stitches on the side, and very carefully open that up. And I usually go for less than for more, so Sometimes I don't open up all the way. Sometimes I grab a little tiny scissors and open that up. I just don't want to rip it totally open. Do the same thing on the other side. There we go. I won't be officially inserting the twill tape until after I've done the elastic casing, but I put this through here so you can see what the final effect will look like.